morning everyone my name is ansar i am from triple a department st peter's engineering college in this lecture i want to discuss about design techniques of controllers in the design te- before going to the design techniques we need to discuss about what is what are what is the necessity of controllers why you are going to use that controllers what are the different types of controllers we are having why for example we are having a different controllers proportional controller integral controller and proportional integral controller derivative controller that means a combination of pi combination of p, p and d combination of pid like that we are having any different controllers why we are going for uh, different types of controllers what is the necessity and concept of stability what is meant by an stability and what is an a concept of stability when the system is stable how you are going to get the system stability and then system response response is nothing but output the system be sa- behavior and disturbance rejection and robustness is nothing but how you are go- whenever in an any particular system we are having an some disturbances that disturbance how you are going to reject reject means how you are going to neglect frequency domain analysis and specifications what are the frequency domain analysis uh, you are having an a phase margin gain margin phase crossover frequency gain crossover frequency all this uh, what is an a cut off rate different types of uh, specifications are there then what are the frequency domain specifications board plots lag lead and uh, lag lead and lag lead compensators what is meant by an a compensator what are the different types of comp- compensators we are having that thing also we are going to discuss and finally we are going for an a pid control system pid controllers after this thing we can learn the ability to understand the necessity of controllers what is the necessity of uh, controllers why we are going to read we can effectively understand the different types of controlling actions and uh, we can predict the behavior of control system in frequency dema- domain design of lag lead compensators to improve the system stability here you we are using either controllers or compensators you are using for the purpose is that the purpose is that to improve the stability of a control system you have see here necessity of controllers in any control system the system response that means the output of a system we are having in a two states one is an a transient response and second one is an a steady state response if a closed loop system response is not desired then we make use of controllers first uh, whenever you are designing an a control system we are having an a two types of control systems open loop and a closed loop control system whenever you are using an a open loop control system open loop control system is an a more stable but it is not an a accurate but coming to an a closed loop control system it is an a more sta- less stable but an a more accurate to more accurate means it we more accurate is nothing but we are getting an our desired output so that we are going to use that uh, feedback even though if it is an a less stable always we ne- we required an a always we required an our desired output so that we are going to use an a desired uh, to get an a desired output we are getting an a feedback even though if you are using an a feedback if you are not getting the desired output then we are going to use an a different controllers either it may be an a p controller pi controller or pid controller whatever it may be or if in some cases you can use an a compensators also no problem controllers also needed because to improve the closed loop system response that means why you are using an a controllers is nothing but always controllers or compensators why you are using is nothing but the simple manner you can say is that to improve the system stability we cannot alter or change the system but we cannot changing that uh, process plant but but uh, we but uh, 
we can change that uh, controllers which design for uh, uh, for which type of controller will gives a uh, more system stability and which will be reduces the transient response that particular type of uh, uh, controllers we can use the system response has basically two components first one is a uh, transient response and second one we are having a uh, steady state response uh, two types of transient response is nothing but uh, up to which time it will be the system will be going to be an, uh, settle down the time taken to settle down the uh, settle down the system that particular time we call it as a uh, transient response the remaining we are going to be an, uh, steady state response there may be a requirement to either improve transient response or steady state response in some cases we need to improve both the transient response and steady state response or both response may how to be improved basically we are going to focus on transient response in some cases we are going to improve the both transient and uh, state steady state response also Dif for that we are going to use any uh, different controllers are used for improving transient and steady state response or a combination of controllers also can be used to improve both transient and uh, steady state response of any system it's so very simple to improve the transient and steady state responses we are going to use an a controller that is the main uh, necessity either it may be on a transient or either it may be on a steady state or will be on a combination together we can improve in some cases how you are going to use that controller is nothing but you can use any single controller or a combination of any any uh, two or three controllers also we can use or uh, in the without changing the plant without changing or without uh, replace the plant we are going to use that uh, controller here uh, basic loop control section we are having here the that is an a plant uh, this is an a plant we are having we are not going to change the plant then uh, whenever uh, here at this particular point we are having any uh, some disturbances here i am going to use an a controller here actuator what what is that uh, actuator is nothing but whatever the controller will gives the command that command will be going to be an a gives by the actuator to the plant to the plant here we are having an a very simple block basic control loop structure here what will be happen i am having an in the feedback path i am going to place an a some sensor if you are considering any temperature control system i required an 100 degree temperature my as a my an output when i am giving an a like this without the all controller all actuator you are getting an a only 40 degrees then you are giving an a feedback if you are giving the feedback also you are getting an a 60 degrees then what i am going to place a controller i am going to place whenever i am going to place an a controller that controller must give that controller will giving an a command to the actuator what is the controller said uh, I am getting only 40 degrees. I need to improve the temperature to 100 degrees so that the actuator will give the signal to the plant so that accordingly the plant will be works so that then automatically the output value will be going to be an a varies. Once if the if you are getting an 100 degrees temperature sensor will be not going sensing oh it will be giving the again signal to the input uh, that means an error signal that we are having an a 100 degrees temperature temperature then no need of any controller that means an a, then there is no uh, we not required any controlling action like that we are going to get uh, so that uh, once if you are getting our desired output we are not going to continue the process here i am using an a controller actuator the controller purpose is nothing but to improve or reduce the our uh, depending upon the controller will be acts depending upon your desired output the actuator purpose is that the controller will give the command to the actuator so that the actuator will give the signal to the plant in that plant the required action will be going on and then we are getting any output that output will be going to be an senses and it will be sensing and then if it is an error then we are going to be an compare that error otherwise uh, if there is no error if you are satisfying then automatically the controlling action will be going to be an stop here steady state accuracy speed of response sensitivity and robustness we are discussed process what is the process in just now only i told in the plant uh, the complete process will be going to be an a going going the process in a plant 
ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఇఫ్ యూఆర్ టేకింగ్ అని ఆయన కెమికల్ ఇండస్ట్రీ సో అండ్ సో కెమికల్ ఈ రిక్వైర్డ్ అనే హండ్రెడ్ డిగ్రీస్ టెంపరేచర్ యూ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డూ దట్ ఆల్ ద ప్రాసెస్ ఇన్ ద ప్లాంట్ ప్రాసెస్ ఈజ్ డిఫైండ్ యాజ్ ద చేంజింగ్ ఆర్ రిఫైనింగ్ ఆఫ్ రా మెటీరియల్ మెటీరియల్ దట్ పాసెస్ త్రూ ఆర్ రిమైన్ ఇన్ ఎ లిక్విడ్ ఆర్ గ్యాసియస్ ఆర్ సమ్ అదర్ స్టేట్ టు క్రియేట్ అండ్ ప్రోడక్ట్స్ ప్రాసెస్ మీన్స్ ప్లాంట్ వేర్ దిస్ ప్రాసెస్ విల్ బీ గోయింగ్ టు బి అనే ఇన్ ఎ ప్లాంట్ అండ్ దట్ ప్లాంట్ విల్ బి గివ్స్ అనే ఆర్ టు అర్స్ సమ్ ఎండ్ ప్రోడక్ట్ ఎండ్ ప్రోడక్ట్ ఎండ్ ప్రోడక్ట్ సారీ ఎండ్ ప్రోడక్ట్ ఈజ్ నథింగ్ బట్ విచ్ ఈజ్ యూస్ఫుల్ ప్రోడక్ట్ ప్రాసెస్ కంట్రోల్ వాట్ ఈజ్ అన్ ప్రాసెస్ కంట్రోల్ మీన్స్ ఇట్ రిఫర్స్ టు ద మెథడ్స్ దట్ ఆర్ యూజ్డ్ టు కంట్రోల్ ప్రాసెస్ వేరియబుల్స్ వెన్ మ్యానుఫ్యాక్చరింగ్ ఏ ప్రోడక్ట్ మ్యానుఫ్యాక్చర్స్ వాటి వి రిక్వైర్డ్ అనే రెడ్యూస్ ద వేరియబిలిటీ ఇంక్రీజ్ ఎఫిషియన్సీ ఎన్స్యూర్ సేఫ్టీ ఆల్వేస్ యాజ్ ఎ మ్యానుఫ్యాక్చర్ వి రిక్వైర్డ్ ఆల్ దీస్ థింగ్ అండ్ కంట్రోల్ వేరియబుల్స్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద కంట్రోల్ వేరియబుల్స్ యూ ఆర్ హ్యావింగ్ దీస్ ఆర్ ద వేరియబుల్స్ విచ్ క్వాంటిఫై ద పెర్ఫార్మెన్స్ ఆర్ క్వాలిటీ ఆఫ్ ద ఫైనల్ ప్రోడక్ట్ విచ్ ఆర్ ఆల్సో కాల్ ఇట్ యాజ్ అనే అవుట్పుట్ వేరియబుల్స్ ఆల్వేస్ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు కంట్రోల్ మ్యానిపులేటెడ్ వేరియబుల్స్ మ్యానిపులేటెడ్ వేర్ యూ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు మ్యానిపులేటెడ్ ద ఇన్పుట్ సైడ్ సో దట్ దీస్ ఇన్పుట్ వేరియబుల్స్ ఆర్ అడ్జస్టెడ్ డైనమికలీ టు కీప్ కంట్రోల్ వేరియబుల్స్ అట్ దట్ సెట్ సెట్ పాయింట్స్ నెక్స్ట్ డిస్టర్బెన్స్ వేరియబుల్స్ డిస్టర్బెన్స్ వేరియబుల్స్ ఈజ్ నథింగ్ బట్ దీస్ ఆర్ ఆల్సో కాల్ లోడ్ వేరియబుల్స్ అండ్ రిప్రజెంట్ ఇన్పుట్ వేరియబుల్ దట్ కెన్ కాజ్ ద కంట్రోల్ వేరియబుల్స్ టు డివియేట్ ఫ్రమ్ దేర్ ఆర్ ఎక్స్పెక్టివ్ సెట్ పాయింట్స్ సర్వో కంట్రోల్ అండ్ రెగ్యులేటరీ కంట్రోల్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద సెట్ పాయింట్ సిగ్నల్ ఈజ్ చేంజ్ అండ్ ద మ్యానిపులేటెడ్ వేరియబుల్ ఈజ్ అడ్జస్టెడ్ అప్రోప్రియట్లీ టు అచీవ్ ద న్యూ ఆపరేటింగ్ కండిషన్ రెగ్యులేటరీ కంట్రోల్ ఈజ్ నథింగ్ బట్ ద సెట్ పాయింట్ ఈజ్ ఫిక్స్ ఎట్ ఎ కాన్స్టెంట్ వాల్యూ when any disturbance enters the system the manipulated variable is adjusted to drive the controller variable back to its fixed set point why do we need automatic process control always here if you are seeing an always we are going for an automatic process controllers why you are going to use an automatic process control is nothing but industrial process are not static but rather very dynamic they are continuously changing as a result of many types of disturbances if you are going for an industry there are uh, different types of disturbances we are having so that we required an we required an uh, disturbance uh, we required an some continuous changing it is principally because of this dynamic nature that control system are needed to continuously and automatically watch over the variables that must be an a control here an example so here we are having w1 and w2 and w are mass flow rates here see here this is the container we are having w1 here w w1 and w2 we are having an a mixture some mass flow rates x1 and x2 and x are the mass fractions of an a component again x1 and x2 are the uh, mass fractions assumption w1 is constant x2 is an a constant perfect mixing is in the tank control observer keep x at a desired value or a set point by adjusting flow rate w2 despite variations in x1 terminology control variable is x manipulated variable is w2 disturbance variable is x1 classification of control you can do this uh, uh, take any value as an a measured variable are manipulated variable x uh, here i am taking an x in the first case method one i am taking an measured variable is x manipulated variable is w2 and category is an fb like that i am going to consider distinguish features feedback control what is the purpose of feedback control is nothing but feedback control always uh, will be used uh, measure the control variable it is an important to make a distinction between negative feedback and positive feedback there is an a difference between a negative and positive feedback advantage is that corrective action is taken regardless of the source of the disturbance reduces sensitivity of the controller controlled variable to disturbance and changes in the process disadvantages is that 
no correction action occurs until after the disturbance has upset the process that is until after x differs from uh, x x p very oscillatory response or even instability feed forward controller that means and a feedback is there and feed forward is there feedback means distinguishing feature it will measures the disturbance just advantage is that correct for disturbance before it upsets the process disadvantage is must be able to measure the disturbance no corrective action for unmeasured disturbance it just will be taken whatever that uh, it will be an a no corrective action once if it is just it will be identified but it will not going to be an having any uh, action on uh, unmeasured disturbances now next thing we are having a uh, different types of controllers which controllers we are going to use uh, here i am having going to discuss about an uh, pid controller pid controller is nothing but proportional integral and derivative controller always we are having an a uh, reference input r of t error eft controller and processor plant the output of an pid controller will be expressed as proportional controller means e of t plus derivative controller means d e of t by dt plus integral controller is 1 by ti into e of t into dt here uh, td is an a derivative constant and ti is an a integral constant so if you are going to take the transfer function of an proportional integral controller is nothing but c of s is equal to kp is nothing but proportional constant 1 plus derivative constant tds plus 1 plus ti s this is the proportional controller we are having any proportional controller kp into 1 plus these two are in a series so that you can multiply and then that is an a feedback path you need to add then you are going to get a the transfer function is like this c of s is equal to you are getting like this if you are applying an a step input then you need to multiply with an a a by s or 1 by s after multiplying that thing you need to apply an a, a inverse laplace transform then the system behavior will be an a, a into k into kp by 1 plus uh, uh, k into kp 1 minus e power minus s tau by tau the time response improves by a factor 1 divided by 1 plus k kp or a divided by 1 plus 1 plus kp steady state error how you are going to find out an a steady state error that is an s into g of s for an step input you need to multiply with an a of s then you are getting an a limit s tends to 0 or t tends to infinity a of s limit s tends to 0 s into g of s you are substituting finally you are getting an a error is a divided by 1 plus uh, k into kp Often the proportional gain term Kp is expressed in terms of proportional band. It is proportional to the gain and is expressed in percentage. If gain is 2, the proportional band is 50%. That means it will become 1. Similarly, for integral constant Kp by Ti, integral action same. Same you need to apply that uh, step input A by S. And uh, error signal for uh, step input is uh, uh, s into e of s is equal to 0 for derivative control also we are doing an a uh, same thing you need to add all this uh, we discussed in a uh, time domain analysis mm. proportional term here see here the proportional term produces an output value that is an a proportional to the current error value the proportional response can be adjusted by multiplying the error by a constant kp call the proportional gain constant integral term is nothing but the country contribution from the integral term is proportional to the both the magnitude of the error and the duration of the error the integral in a pid controller is the sum of instantaneous error over time and gives the accumulated offset that should have been corrected previously the accumulated error is then multiplied multiplied by integral gain ki and added to the controlled output similarly for derivative here this is a very important uh, uh, table we are having an a there are different types of parameters rise time peak overshoot settling time steady state error and stability here we are having an a parameter is nothing but kp proportional controller integral controller and derivative controller in proportional and uh, integral controller, the rise time values will be going to be decreases. 
and uh, uh, derivative controller little bit change will be there in maximum peak overshoot in proportional and integral controller increases in derivative controller the peak overshoot will be value will be going to be at a decreases settling time in proportional controller the in settling time small change is there in integral it will be going to be an increases but whereas in uh, derivative controller it will be decreases steady state error the steady state error in an uh, proportional controller decreases but in the case of integral controller eliminated but in the case of uh, derivative controller there will be an a no effect stability in proportional and integration controller degrade but in the case of derivative controller improves if kd is small here see here which type of uh, controller you need to select proportional controller is recommended for process of transfer function having an a pole at origin single dominating pole integrator integrate controller having an a very fast process with high noise and dead time pi controller having for controlling variables like level flow pressure etc those do not have large time constraint pd controller that means an a proportional combination of proportional and uh, derivative controller effective for system having an a large number of time constraint pid controller means combination